Hi, I'm Joshua Finn, and this is the build video for the JNH Aerospace K777 Mini Stick. A lot of you are wondering how in the world can $80 of kit fit in this bag, but you will get to see that this is conclusively the best mini stick kit ever offered. Uh, we'll have a, re a build review, or well, at least a review video of an indoor model supply mini stick kit which is kind of historically has been the industry standard for for indoor kits were the indoor model supply line. And you'll see that this is has everything and more than you could ever imagine in it for, for building out a competitive mini stick. This is not a oh it's it's gonna fly around the room and look cute. This is one you can actually take to contests and you can compete and you can win. Um, this is not a beginner's kit you need to build some, some simpler things and, and work your way up. So if you're asking what should I build first, build our Pinna Flyer, then build something a little, a little more complex, maybe one of our TSA or Science Olympiad rubber power kits, and then maybe look at uh, the Penny Plane kit. After you've done those, now you can, you can tackle this. Uh, alternatively, you could build the A6. The Penny Plane and A6 are about the same complexity. So, with that said, let's get started uh, opening this up, and, and we'll get started with the build. Okay, so a couple things before we get started opening the kit up. There are some supplies that you're going to need to have. You will need three types of adhesives to build this airplane. So you're going to need some CA glue. I use Gorilla CA. Any kind of medium thickness CA will work. You're going to need something like Duco or Sigment. Sorry, my tube is all... <laughs> Let's see here. Yeah, there we go. Um, no, I had it upside down. There we go. Sigment. Um, Duco as well, or Ambroid if you can find it. Uh, I do use some CA Accelerator for some parts. And then lastly, you're going to need 3M Super 77 spray adhesive. you need this to attach the covering. Also, a couple tools you'll need. You'll want a, ne a pair of needle nose pliers. You'll want some wire dikes. A fresh single edge razor blade. Better yet, a fresh brand new double edge razor blade. Uh, and you'll need some masking tape. And also, you'll want some Vaseline or, or petroleum jelly, something like that. We'll use that for attaching the covering to the, to the covering frame before we actually cover the, the flying surfaces. So, those are the materials you'll need. We'll get started next on opening the kit up. Okay, so let's go ahead and open our kit up. And carefully remove the contents here because there are some very fragile things and some very small things. So we'll remove this outer wrapping, this the label. Inside here, there are uh, some, some basic instructions. And most importantly, there are plans for building this airplane out, and all the patterns for all of the parts. Now, at this point, we'll go ahead and start sliding some of this out of here. You want to put things back in your, your baggie as, as you progress here. So first of all, we've got some quarter inch sticks here, so we've got some that are 12 inches long, and we've got some that are 10 inches long, so we'll have two of each of those. Next, you're going to have some rubber strip. Keep this in a refrigerator, freezer, something like that. Uh, mainly a, a cool, dark place when you're not using it. Let's set this bag aside for a minute. This is your propeller forming block and your pitch gauge. Um, this is, these are your fuselages. This little piece of 132nd balsa you'll use for making your propeller forming block. These are this is the jig for setting dihedral on the wings and tail. I'm try not to pop all the little pieces out of there. It's possible they could be floating around in your kit, so just bear that in mind. Um, these are the uh, forms for your flying surfaces. Uh, a couple things to note, um, this is 1 16th balsa, it may pop out of the sheets, like mine did. So, it's possible you'll find tape holding a few things go. Now, this is a roll of OS film covering, but there's also something else. Inside here, and you 
want to count them, and so you'll you'll get a hold of me if, if anything's missing. You're gonna have two pieces of wood that are about 040 to 045 squared. They'll be marked in red on the ends, and then you should have 14 of these 132nd square pieces right here. These are very light, very fragile balsas, so you notice I'm handling them very, very gingerly because you don't want to risk damaging these. So once you have inventoried them, just stick them back in here so nothing can happen to them. Same with these bigger, harder ones. Lastly, there are, well not lastly because we haven't gotten to this bag over here, but in here there are three things. And so you want to open this package very, very carefully because this contains fragile stuff and don't get it stuck to the masking tape. So, this, and notice I'm handling this very carefully because I don't want stuff to go flying. This is a sheet of 164th balsa. You'll notice you can see my hand through it if you don't believe how thin it is. I don't know if that's showing up on camera. But you can see the blade more or less through that. Those are your propeller blades. Next, and this you just want to grip carefully so the ribs don't fall out. Those are your wing and stab ribs right there. And then, finally, these are your propeller spars. So we'll stick these back in here. We'll come back to them once we're ready to start working on them. Now, there are a bunch of very small parts in this bag, so I'm going to lay this all out on a white sheet of paper. Okay. This is a piece of 055 polyamide tubing. This tiny little clear thing, don't lose this. This is Teflon tubing. Don't lose it. So we're just going to stick it straight back in the bag, along with the polyamide tubing. You should have three propeller shafts. These pieces right here. Let me hold one up for you. So don't lose those. Again, very small parts. You're going to have another piece of 10,000th wire that you're going to use to cut your rear hooks. Then, if I'm careful enough here, you're going to have three of these aluminum propeller bearings. Do not lose these. These are high precision components. They are handmade in Ukraine. Then you're going to have a piece of um, spider wire, very thin spider wire binding thread, and then you have this piece of it's just push rod tubing from uh, from Dubro, but you'll use you'll use that to catch your O rings for your rubber motors. So we'll seal that back up for the time being. Now we can commence with the build. All right, so let's start by building out all our jigs for this airplane. So for the wings here, wings and tail. Uh, so I've got this taped in, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to pop all these forms out of here. Be careful that you don't break these, because um, they are a little bit thin. Uh, you are going to have some little burrs on those. And so, oh, that was graceful. Um, just kind of sand the edges very lightly like this. Nothing special is required. down. Also pop out this uh, rudder form. It's actually a vertical stab is more to the point. So we can 
set that, set all those aside. Okay, so for the wing form here, I'm going to pop all of these parts out. And orientation is very important, and I will mention just in slight disclosure that I actually had to re-record this because I did it wrong. This part, these parts go in like so, so that they slope inward. It's very important because that allows you to set, have a vertical face on the inside here for your dihedral so that it's straight up and down and that means that you can actually use this forming block for other mini sticks say if you want to try someone else's design you can still use this to set your maximum wingspan using dihedral so what we're going to do here is we'll assemble this all out And again, we're sloping in, so we have the vertical face on the inside. And these need to be straight up and down. Um, so basically, if they press all the way in there with no snags or any, any burrs or anything, um, which in theory you shouldn't have that problem, but bottom line is both sides here need to be flat against this, this board. And there we go. This is your completed dihedral framing jig. Next, we're going to build out two components. We're going to build out our propeller pitch gauge and our propeller forming block. These two are roughly the same size. I'm going to whack the burrs off. Not really critical at this point, but um, this is your propeller pitch gauge, and make sure you assemble it in this orientation. If you turn it around the other way, you will have backwards propellers and then that basically messes everything up with the instructions on how to build this airplane. So that's mostly done. We just have two tiny little pieces additionally to stick in here. Be careful when you break these two little guys out. And we're just going to drop all of that in. You do want to make sure these slide all the way in. So this is a standard rotation propeller pitch gauge. But this part is your propeller forming block. Wipe all of the laser tabs off of the diagonal surfaces and the vertical surface here. And make sure that you have this oriented the same way as this guy. So here's how we're going to assemble this. Make sure this piece goes in straight up and down. in both dimensions. 
this piece is going to go like so. And there we go. Now, we're going to take this piece of wood and twist it on here. We're going to have to get it wet to do that. And this, uh, this particular piece of wood feels a little on the, the um, hard side. So I'm actually going to split it in half, and you'll understand why here in a minute. It's because it's not going to lay down real nicely. But we want it to be significantly stiffer than our, our propeller blades, and so that's kind of the cost of that. So I'm going to go soak this in, in uh, water real quick. You may have to soak it in hot water. Okay, now I've got these pieces real nice and wet. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start massaging this to a twist in this direction, like so. See that? So we're forcing, and we're basically stretching the outside of this to force a twist into it. Do the same thing over here with this one. This one's trying to split a little on me, and that's okay. It's not ideal, but it's okay. And what we're doing is we're forcing this on here like so. Excuse the bird in the background trying to serenade me. If you've watched our videos, you know who he is, what he is, and that he thinks the world belongs to him, much like my four-year-old. Forcing this on here. Just like that. So again, it's not perfectly flat, and that's okay. So that gives you a kind of funky looking, but very, very effective propeller forming block, except mine's not sticking down at the bottom, but there we go.